So this is yet another PowerPoint 2011 tutorial and this particular tutorial is going to teach you about grouping objects. So many of us have used PowerPoint at one point time or another and are probably fairly comfortable with putting lines, arrows, shapes, text, and images into our presentations. But every once in a while you'll encounter a situation where you really need to move a select number of items and it gets kind of annoying because, if, as you can see, I've got a separate image, a separate arrow, and a separate uh, text box. And if I want to move all of these together, I can, of course, try and highlight all of them and move them together. But let's say that my slide was really, really busy and there were a couple of other elements that were around that would make it difficult to where I couldn't just highlight the entire area without highlighting those elements as well. And so I could go through the process of trying to click on all of the different objects collectively uh, to move them, but that would get really annoying if I had to move them multiple times. So in this tutorial, what I'm going to teach you about is the concept of grouping objects together. So I've got my three different objects, and let's say that I want to just group these two. So I don't want to group the word beaker, I just want to group the arrow and the image here. So what I'm going to need to do is first select these two items, the arrow and the image of the beaker. To do that, on a Mac you will hold down the command key, which used to be the Apple key, and you'll left click on the items that you want to group together. You see you'll notice now both of these items, the arrow and the picture of the beaker, are selected. Now to group these together, you have two different options. First and foremost, you can simply right click to bring up your menu. When you do that, you'll notice this option to group. Okay, grouping, choose to group. And now, whenever I move my beaker picture, my arrow moves with it. Additionally, if I grab the arrow, it will move with uh, the beaker. And I can still go in and edit these separate elements if I want to by double clicking them. But they remained grouped. Okay. Now, if at any point in time I decide I really didn't want to group these two things together, I can just right click again and choose ungroup. You'll also notice shortcuts that I can use. So if I want to group them together, and in this case I'll group all three, so I will hold the command key as I select beaker, the arrow, and the picture of the beaker. Then I'm going to press command, alt, hold those two, and press G. And notice this groups all three of those elements together. If I want to ungroup them, then I can simply press and hold command, alt, shift, and press G and that will ungroup those items. So grouping makes it very, very easy for you to tie elements together on a single slide and make it to where moving them, copying and pasting them, editing them, very, very, very easy, and they all collectively move as a group. So that's grouping in PowerPoint 2011.